Well, this absolute scale perfect mirror was caught using the washing line method. And that's what this video is all going to be about. How to use and what is this really, really effective tactic. So the washing line method is effectively a way of fishing to a far margin, maybe a, um, an adjacent margin down your left side, but it is to keep as much line out of the water as possible. So if you're fishing maybe on a marginal shelf, you don't, you don't want line going directly through the swim to the spot. You don't want those fish hitting the line, dragging the uh, hook bait away from your free bait, dragging your rig down the shelf. And of course, it is a very, very subtle way of fishing. Now, it's very simple. There's, there's certain areas that you want to target with it. And um, obviously, if you're fishing big, big overhangs or anything like that, you're not going to be able to use this method. But areas where you can get close to the bank, so that you can position your rod. They are the types of places that you want to be focusing on. So this lake here is perfect for um, using the washing line. As you can see, there's no tree, trees around it and, um, and there's no bankside vegetation. So it is the ideal place to use this, but you can use it on all sorts of venues. If it's a little, a little gap in the far margin, something like that, something that you can cast to, um, then that's, that's perfect. So there are two ways of doing it. There's either casting to the margin onto the bank above the spot where you want to fish or you walk round and drop the rod in that way. So what I'm doing at the moment is dropping the rod in um, on the far side and then walking it back round. But then the other method, you cast over, you drop the, rod, the rig in by hand and that's how you set it. But the key thing that you need to fish a washing line is a bank stick with a tough elastic band. So that's round there, really, really tight. I've wrapped it round a few times so it holds the line really nice and tightly. Now, I'm going to get my rig ready to place in. And I've literally got a solid bag in my pocket. Here's one I made earlier. And I'm going to loop to loop it on now that I'm round here. So I always loop to loop my solid bags. Love a bit of a submerged spliced leader to make it easy. And I am going to drop it in. Now this is where I've been seeing the fish move sort of this afternoon. They've been coming along this margin and I think that just a little trap over here is going to work perfectly and the reason that I want to use the washing line method yeah absolutely I could cast over to this margin no problem at all it's 50 yards so it's not a hard cast but where the fish are moving up and down I don't want them coming into contact with any line I want to be as subtle as possible and that's what the washing line allows me to do so I'm going to get my bank stick and I'm going to push it into the ground just above my spot and you want to make sure that you've got really good purchase in the ground that it's rock solid in there like so okay and then this doesn't need to go far out at all for me the fish have been coming in literally it's about 18 inches deep there maybe two feet I just dropped it in there really subtly. I'm going to give it literally a couple of scatterings of pellet and 10 mil boilies. And then I'm just bringing the line along the bottom via my rod tip and just setting it next to the bank stick. Now this is the sort of all important part if we want to come really close in on this so we've got the line here and we've got the elastic band now you want to create a loop in the line like so pick off a bit of the elastic and poke 
the loop underneath it like so. So the loop is exposed and then all I'm going to do, just grabbed a little piece of grass, just going to double it over once and then stick that in the loop. Now that is brittle enough that when a fish takes my rig, once it hooks itself, that's brittle enough, enough that it's going to break away. And, um, and then basically you get the bite, the fish pulls that, breaks away, or it pulls the line, breaks the uh, little piece of grass, and then effectively everything falls slack at the other end. So what I need to do now is get my rod round that other side and set my bobbin. So I'm just now with the bell arm open on the rod, I'm just gonna make sure that I've got a little bit of tension with my finger on the spool to that bank stick and that elastic band. But I'm just gonna walk round, back round to my swim and then set the bobbin from there. Okay, so I'm back round in my swim and I've tightened down to the elastic band on the bank stick and basically no line is in the water now. It's completely up above the water and nothing is there to spook the fish in theory anyway. So I'm gonna put my rod on the rest like so and then effectively you're fishing as tight a line as you possibly can so i'm just going to clip the bobbin on i mean i can already see here that line is up either out of the water or there's just a little bit that's dipped down and lying across the surface of the lake and i've got the bobbin on um, right at the top here so effectively like i said you got that tight line all the way over to the far side and then when you get a bite effectively the line pulls out of the clip on the far side and the bobbin hits the floor you get a complete savage drop back and then you have to basically pick up the lot the rod and wind as fast as you can until you hit the fish effectively so you just got to keep winding keep winding and eventually you'll connect with the fish little bit of an unorthodox method but such an effective one especially when fishing for tricky carp on marginal slopes and uh, yeah i think everyone should give it a go if you've got a venue that suits it